Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to another Minecraft series tutorial. Um, right now I was working on a track right now in Dev Step, whatever. But I'll put that down for now. Um, so basically what I'm doing right now is uh, a Minecraft tutorial on basically um, changing your Minecraft into a 64-bit uh, Minecraft. If you don't know what it actually does... It utilizes more memory RAM the, uh, for your uh, Minecraft than using the 32-bit, which only uses I don't know about 512 to about a gigabyte of RAM. You know, if you do a lot of mods and then you do a lot of explosions or some customization, sometimes it does crash with the memory error. So therefore, using the 64-bit, you utilize more memory and you can utilize the way you want it to be utilization to two gigabytes to four gigabytes or you can go from four to sixteen depending on how much you have a ram even though it's not really gonna go that far you can ex extend it by uh... using more of that power so to do this um... go to wherever your minecraft uh... stuff is at wherever your minecraft exe or jar file is at and before you actually start doing this make sure you do have a sixty four bit um, operating system as you can see system type 64 I'm running Windows 7 if you're on uh, Windows 7 32-bit then you cannot do this if you're on 64-bit you can continue on with this tutorial so having that said open Internet Explorer 64-bit damn it stop texting me Ugh. <laughs> type in Java on the search bar or whatever go to java.com and go ahead and download it if you have not done this already. If you do not have already installed this Java 64 bit, I recommend you do so now. Um, it's recommended to use the Internet Explorer version 64 bit because uh, Google Chrome does not support 64 and Firefox, I'm not really too sure if they support it. Uh, I think they do, but there's just a lot of problems there, so it's recommended to do this. Download it and install it. Once you have done that, go wherever you have your Minecraft. Now, just uh, basically what you're going to do is uh, start a shortcut into your desktop or wherever. I have one right here. So what you want to do is right-click it, Properties. Now, I'll give you the little code to put here, but I'll show you what this is. So the way I have it set up, because my uh, computer computer has uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM, the way I did it was the minimum of uh, utilization is four gigabytes, and the maximum I want it to go is six gigabytes. Um, you can do it the way you guys want it to be. Um, Minecraft will not actually take up this much space. It's just a minute. Um, if you use a lot of mods, it knows to hit this mark when it uh, uses a lot of power. Though it, 80% of the time, might will not even hit it. But it will not give you those uh, memory errors anymore, though. So, as you can see, the XMS is the minimum RAM, and the XMX is the maximum RAM you want to utilize. So set it up the way you want. You can check up a megabyte to gigabyte chart and do that conversion. And then uh, you just you right click on where the shortcut is, press space on the target, and, pre and just copy and paste it with control V or right click paste. Apply. And you get to utilize more power. Now in 64-bit, uh, if you have a good, um, also a good graphics card, the um, the render distance will be automatically put to far than normal or short, and it's just depending on your graphics card, you can have all the textures and everything well done and very nice. But uh, I'm running 64-bit. And as you can see, you can render everything pretty fast. Well, I'm running on a RAM system, so. But everything renders fast, and, uh, yeah. 
as you can tell, uh, as you can see here, the allocated memory right now is at 600 and whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go and blow up a shitload of things, and still at the same amount. Big damn explosion! Hope you guys liked the tutorial. Uh, please rate, subscribe, and all that great stuff.